Good morning, grade six. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I want you to open your books to page number 41. We will read together and learn a few things together. Uh, we are talking about sound and sound consists of waves that travel in materials creating areas of high pressure and low pressure. So sound equals waves. This is what I want you to remember. Sound equals waves. Sound waves travel through solids, liquids, and gases. The speed of sound in solids is higher than its speed in liquids, and its speed in liquids is higher than its speed in gases. Sound waves need a medium to travel in and cannot travel in a space where there, there is no matter. Red Indians used to put their ears on the railway to hear if a train was approaching them. What do you conclude from this behavior? That sound, sound travels in through, sorry, through solid, solid. So the rail will move the sound of the train through the, uh, through it. Okay. Let's move on to the next part of the page. Sound is very important in your life. When you talk, you communicate with other people through your voice, which consists of sound waves. So we need it for communication. Exactly. So communication. Sound is also important for safety. You can sometimes identify danger sources by means of their sound, of course. So communication and safety. What does that mean? For example, if you are walking in the street and you hear a car, you are able to move because you heard the sound and you anticipated the danger. If you hear something falling from a high place, you can move because you heard the sound. So to hear, when sounds are important for communication and safety. Okay, sounds, uh, you can sometimes, okay, we read that already. Give some examples of, from your environment. Some sounds are pleasant, it's nice, like reciting Quranic verses and birds singing. Some other sounds are not desirable, like alarm sounds, warning sounds, and noise. And uh, now, this is important to remember. Some materials, this is very important, reflect sound and others absorb it. So there are some materials that can uh, absorb all the sound. The walls of rooms used, the, used for radio, radio and TV broadcasting are usually made of sound absorbing materials because if sound waves were reflected by the walls, this would produce noise and something called echo, echo. Echo, and that is a subtle thought. Yes, so echo, is the sound waves reflecting from the walls. Irtidad sot huwa sada sot. Echo. When we walk into a room that's empty, we hear, uh, we hear sounds. The sound is very noisy and there is echo. But if there are furniture in this room, لما يصير في أثاث في هذه الغرفة, القماش والخشب بينتص هذه الأصوات. القماش سوري, the cloth. Absorbs these sounds. So this is what happens when there is example. Uh, there is, for example, a YouTuber who has um, sound absorbing materials in the room. Uh, you will feel that the sound is better. Uh, now, page number uh, forty-two. You can see uh, different sources of sounds. Now, page 43, we learn that, yes, uh, page 43, we learn that 
I am summarizing. Communication is um, communication is exchange of information. Exchange of information. And we learned that in page 44, we learned that people in the past used to use pigeons. Pigeons in here, three were hamam. Hamam is zajil. Pigeons to send letters. And then later, there was something called post office, maktab al barid to send letters. Now, there was also the fax. It's a machine that used to send something from one place to another, copies of documents. And finally, nowadays, we have many ways of communication. like mobile phone, like Facebook, Instagram, all the social media. Uh, we have various forms of communication. The internet, this is all ways to make us communicate better with each other. Now, this is it for today. We will uh, continue next week with the, what is communication system and page number 45 and 46. And I will see you next week. Goodbye, grade 